Hi, it's Jen, and today we're going to be talking about verbs. Sometimes we use verbs to describe things in the past that already happened. We can use verbs to describe what's happening right now, and we can use verbs to describe what will happen in the future. So check it out up here. In yellow, it says past, and there's arrows pointing backwards to something that already happened. You might start a sentence talking about the past with yesterday, then you're going to pick your person, I, you, she, he, we, or they. Then you'll choose your verb. When you use a verb in the past tense, you always have to change it, whether you put ed at the end or whether it's irregular. So if it was ed, I might say something like, yesterday, I looked, and that means I put the ed at the end at the lake. And if it was irregular, I, it's a verb that um, I just have to know changes to something that doesn't use ed at the end. So I might say, yesterday, I caught a ball, right? Which comes from the verb catch, becomes caught. So um, we're going to be practicing sentences in the past. Now, if you look here, it says present, which means it's happening right now. So we're going to be talking about now, she... And so sometimes when we're talking about the present, you're going to have to put an S at the end of your verb when you use the version of he or she with your sentence. So I might say, I look, but if you were going to use she, you'd have to use she looks or he looks. But then if you go back to we, it becomes look again. So we look. So just make sure when you're talking about the present now, we're going to use this um, sentence stem up here and make sure you put an S at the end if you're using he or she. When we're talking about something that will happen in the future, we're going to start our sentence with the word tomorrow. And then we have to make sure we add the word will. It's such an important word there, right? So it won't be uh, talking about the future unless you put that word will because it will happen in the future. So this is a lot to remember. This is a very advanced practice, but we're going to try and see if you can do. Pick one of these verbs and make it, make a sentence for the past, the present, and the future using the same verb. So I'm going to do four sentences with you and show you what I mean. And then you're going to see if you can do the other sentences on your own with someone in your house. When you make your sentence, add some creative details. Make it fun and interesting. So here I go. And the other thing is make sure that you change the verb into the correct form, depending on if you're talking about the past, present, or future, and also depending on what type of person you're talking about. There's a lot to remember there, so <laughs> good luck. I'm going to go first, and so I'm going to start with past, and I'm going to say, yesterday, I opened a present from my friend. Did you see how I put the d at the end of there? I opened it. Now I'm going to do the same one, and I'm going to do it in the present. I'm going to try he. I'm going to say, now he opens the box. So instead of a d, I had to change it to a z sound, right? And then I'm going to jump to the future and do the same verb, but with tomorrow. And I'm going to say, we will. So tomorrow, we will open our gifts. Did you see how I did all three of those? I did a past, a present, and a future, and I knew how to change my sentence each time to make it make sense. All right, next, I'm gonna do fix. So here I go, I'm gonna start in the past. I'm gonna say, yesterday, you fixed. You see how I ended the ED there at the end of fix? So yesterday, you fixed your bicycle when you got a nail in your tire. All right. Moving on to the present, I'm going to do now. So I'm going to say, now she, ooh, I got to put an ES at the end because this one is fixes. So I'm going to say, now she fixes her bicycle after she ran over a cactus thorn. All right, there we go. And when I talk about the future, I'm going to say, tomorrow they will, hmm, tomorrow they will fix their bike. It's been sitting in the garage for a long time, broken, but they will fix it tomorrow. All right, now I'm gonna go to dance, one of my favorite things. 
Uh, when I talk about dance in the past, I'm going to say yesterday, I danced to the music. Then I'm going to move to the present tense. So now she dances to the music. And when I go to the future, I'm going to say tomorrow, we or let's see, yeah, we will dance to the music. So I had to make sure I put will in my sentence when I talk about tomorrow. All right, and the last one I'm gonna do with you all is decide. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say, yesterday, he decided to go to the store. Now moving on to the present, I'm gonna say, now you decide to buy some shoes. And when I talk about the future, I'm gonna say, tomorrow, he will decide to get his hair cut. There we go. So each time you have to change several things in the sentence so that it still makes sense. So what I want you to do is go through the rest of these words with someone in your house and see if you can take turns trying to do each one of these with a past, present, and future tense sentence, making sure to get all the elements in there. This can be tricky. So try your best and I wish you good luck. Pause the video here. <laughs> 